Asasa, hola tú, Oji Martín, con la alegría, con la alegría. y tal cuando venía la chica hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette you could start a fire So, are you going to invite me in, or what? I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. It's nothing. Just some junk I found lying around. A rainbow towel? A cool blue light? That is dark. Too dark? Perfect dark. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found this in a skate vehicle already. Like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am, I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> That Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. I can't believe he actually suspended you. Really? I'd say it's like the most believable thing that's ever happened to anyone in the history of forever. I'm just so pissed about the play. How could they let Victoria Chase jack your role? Because life is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Yeah. Totally. At least Wells has no idea what really went down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What the hell were you thinking? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. 
<laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dick Tater David. He announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, um, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Well, Doc. There's this dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom, and now he thinks... He's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. What have you got? Uh, he's a step fuck because he's a stupid <laughs> fucking fuck. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why step ladder? Because. He climbs on your mom every night. Ew! <laughs> and pretty soon, they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. So, my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something batshit fucking nutso last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm assuming is also an exceptional beauty, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in the looks department. Perhaps this friend of yours, who I reiterate must be just stunning, needed someone in her life to teach her. How to break into a viewfinder? How not to give a fuck. Because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That... makes sense. I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? No. I mean how to express my feelings of intense joy. Uh-huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well-adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touché, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always a pleasure delving into the mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. I kind of fixed the truck a bit. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's pretty badass. Do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. 
I wasn't talking about me. My dad doesn't really exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? You just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Well, let me know if you find any candidates for the job. Shit, it's playtime. Gotta go clean out my dressing room for Victoria. Not exactly the role I thought I'd be playing tonight. Oh well. Hey, I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. Something criminal? Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Wait, you forgot your bag. It's for you. Just a little survival kit for your new life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. Hello, Junk Shack. <laughs> Time. to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. A bag full of clothes. Yes, I need those. <laughs> Nothing like an abandoned shack in the middle of a junkyard to make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Más rollo para, para tirar de los trozos. Oye, ¿cómo salgo? ¿Oye? ¿Me tengo que probar toda la ropa o qué? A ver si 
este. A ver, casa allí. Claro. Vamos, tu puta madre. Tendrá que probarse toda. No, tío, ¿me ha salido o qué? ¿No? Bueno, solo me quedan dos, dos para probarme. solo este que se me ha probado antes con tu puta madre tío vamos a ver aquí Another. Ahora sí. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking rules.
Frank's outside. I should get going if I'm done changing. The cutting edge in junkyard security technology. That's the woman we saw with Rachel's dad. Weird. Yo, Frank! It's Chloe. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password... drugs? Price, get your ass in here. It smells, it smells like, like piss in here. Shut up. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? Well, ah! God. Jeez, man. Get my notebook, Price. Then we'll talk. No, I'm... Fetching things for Frank. How low can I go? It's always hard to tell what Frank's thinking. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Black Hell. Who knew? A betting slip. $1,200? Way out of my league. Sauce for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive through order. Apparently, Frank is a werewolf. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking think about it. Damn. Part of a balanced breakfast. Ugh, gross. Wait, Frank got a puppy? Ah. Uh. Rachel, the therapist, would have a field day with this. Shit. The mill burned down. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Fight the power. Hey there. 
It's okay, little guy. Aw, oh, shit! Pompadour, get up here! Pompadour? You little killer. That's an insane amount of beans. Wow. That pillow is definitely dead. A swingy, flippy instrument of death. Is this what I think it is? Ah, shit. I'm in the red. Time to find out what Frank wants to discuss. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. A throne fit for Frank. Cause Frank finally gave up on the stake. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadour, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Does it mean, like, tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? Okay, so... Who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm going to tell? Come on, Price. I got to protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. As long as you're selling quality stuff, no one is going to care what you tell me. God, Price. Don't you have enough dumb high school shit going on? Why get hung up on some chick? I'm... I'm not. Just hanging with a friend here. A friend I don't know much about. Tell me, Frank. Seeing any girls lately? Well, I guess you're not asking for life or death information here. You know when I joke about being your favorite customer? I'm kind of not joking. Deep down in your gut, I think you know you can totally trust me. I don't know. Frank. Talk. And I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh... How about that firehouse chili of hers? You... You got it. The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago, causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble, exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. Shouldn't have opened my mouth. Thanks for... 
telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No, but I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with right now. Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like, but I don't seem to have much leverage with him like I once had. Anyway, you and I have shit to discuss. Is this about the buck 75? What? The money that I owe you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, do you have it? Give me like another week. I don't have enough right now. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with them? Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. Nah, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Can you handle that? Yeah, of course, but what's in it for me? Idiot, you still owe me. So, if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? It might be a little tough. I'm not supposed to be at Blackwell. I got suspended this morning. Congratulations. Still easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price... A hundred dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay. With a bit of cash and the truck fixed, Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. Well, here goes nothing. Better hurry up and get into the dorms. Yeah. 
<clears throat> what would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Chloe. Your shirt looks like the tea leaves they used to tell people's fortunes. How's my future looking? Bright and sunny. Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. That text was a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Uh, I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, kinda hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. I'm sure it is. I am worried about Victoria coming in now and trying to hog every scene, but the cast overall is fantastic. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Okay. I'm intrigued. Go on. Like, Hayden's so annoying, but when he puts on that crown, he's actually very princely. And Nathan is Caliban? There's so much depth there. Right. Depth. Yeah, well... Good luck with all of that. <laughs> Maybe I'll see you later. Oh, hey. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but not if you two were together. Make a move? So, are you? Uh... I mean, that's Rachel's business. Or maybe yours and Rachel's business. But if you feel comfortable telling me... I'm... Uh, I, I don't know. It's... It's... Confusing. <sighs> yeah, I, I can imagine. You ever want to talk to me, Chloe? You know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun storming the castle. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Rachel would have brought the house down. How can Wells be such an idiot? Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Locked. Figures. Looks like my options are Become a master lock picker or swipe someone's keys. Why, yes, Chloe, of course you may look through that. I'll see you at the Tempest, right? Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> Neither did I. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? 
What do you think of uh, Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because you like the way it feels? Or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? I'm, uh... <laughs> Uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than that. He is? A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. <sighs> I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. So... Uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay... Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. W what do I want people to see? Someone strong and fierce, who does what she wants, and doesn't care what others think. I don't care what others think. Of course you do. It's okay not to be okay, Chloe Price. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. I often wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Huh. That's some intellectual shit, Samuel. Such a nice white door. Though, it feels like it's missing something, doesn't it? Too bad I can't tag it. Nice work, Samuel. Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at home, thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Did Evan just call me intelligent? Damn straight. Wow. Evan looks... really ridiculous. Hey, uh, Evan? As intelligent as you look right now, you can still see that bird from where I'm standing. I appreciate your concern, but I want to get this shot exactly right. And I've learned something about myself recently. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. For example, I've been trying to get the students and administration interested in forest fire prevention. That is kind of an odd topic to focus on. People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened?
<laughs> Looks like you were right. Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. About different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. Anyway, you're not supposed to be here. You should leave. You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Hey! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. Time for a fresh start. Here we go. So tempting, but Evan will see me for sure. <laughs> and he sounds like he's in the mood to get me in trouble. One small flight for this bird, one giant leap backward for Chloe Price. <sighs> Almost there. Come on. If I can scare uh, that bird far enough away, maybe Evan won't see me break that sprinkler. Gotcha. Oh, perfect. You're welcome. Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... <laughs> that works. Sorry, Samuel. All right, time to find Drew's room. No time like the present. Chloe? Skip, how's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but what are you doing here? Didn't you just get suspended? I'm on a secret drug-related mission, Skip. Under the authority of the Arcadia Bay District Attorney's Office. Really? No, dude. I, I'm just visiting a friend. I, I can't... I really can't just let you go in. Come on, Skip. I break the rules, and you think it's awesome. Let me break this rule. For old time's sake. I want to, Chloe. But I really can't. 
Look, it, it's cool. Samuel said it was okay. Did Wells? Ah, <sighs> didn't think so. I'm going inside, dude. You're just gonna have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, I think I have to ask you to state your official business or else vacate Blackwell property. I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. What's my official business? Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. That's not cool, Skip. You realize that, right? <sighs> Chloe, I just have this feeling like you're up to... Wait. You talked me into letting you into the bathroom this morning, and then you tagged the entire friggin' place. What? No, I... I uh, <laughs> eh, fuck it. I totally did that. Wells raked me over the coals for that. Ugh, time to go. Or what? What are you gonna do, Skip? Because unless you're prepared to drag me off this campus, I'm going inside. Chloe! Enough! This is my job! Just go! You have never respected me! You and all your smug little classmates! I am so tired of being shit on by high schoolers! You know what? I'm done! I'm done with this stupid rent a cop job! Just, just do whatever the fuck you want, Chloe! Whoa, Skip. Matthews, I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. Uh, oh, 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 oh that, that's funny. Because I've, I've got I've gotten reports about how your head is, is really far up your ass. What, what did you just say? Damn. Matthews. Skip really lost it there. All right, time to find Drew's room. Bueno, vamos a parar aquí la segunda parte de de del episodio 2. Alright, which one is Drew's room? Vale, pues paramos aquí. Y nada chicos, nos vemos en la siguiente parte. Recordad esa mitad arriba, suscribiros a mi canal y a los canales que estáis viendo por aquí arriba. Así que nos vemos. <coughs> nos vemos. Chao, chao. ¡Achacha! ¡Hola tú! ¡Oye Martín! ¡Con alegría! ¡Con alegría! Yeah, yeah, yeah.